Now, also, leaving lists and looking at documents, we have a special document library called a wiki. Okay, this wiki is typically used as a knowledge base. So again, what we can do here is we can create a list, a list of documents which contain the knowledge of our business. So in this example, what I've done is, is I've created a wiki item which details everybody's coffee orders. So the idea is rather than one individual going out and asking everybody what they want for their coffee every morning, it then becomes the onus on the staff member to make sure that their coffee orders are up to date in here. Then all the person who is actually doing the ordering has to do is go and print this out, take it to the shop and do an order. So again, that is an example of what can, a knowledge base can be used for. But you can use the knowledge base to store all sorts of technical information, information about your business and so forth. So if I go in here again, you'll notice that because this is a web-based editing tool, I don't need to have Word. I can do this all through a web page. I make a change. Now the important thing is, is because the wiki has once again version control enabled, you're able to see that there are actually four previous versions. Okay, and again, if I look at version three, I can see what was changed and what was added. So again, that was deleted and that was added. So again, once you've got full auditing control, audit control of the information, and in this case, like I said, you can create as many different knowledge bases as needed and populate them with all the information that you require. So again, very handy little option here. Now we're coming up to our time, so I'll just run through a quick, a couple of quick other, a uh, number of other options that SharePoint provides. What you'll see here is we have something which is a team discussion. This basically allows you to conduct a number of online discussions. So typically, it's very good for resolving issues. Or what we found um, customers, one customer was using it for effectively was that they were actually having their meetings here in the discussion area so that when they actually met face to face, their meetings were no longer two or three hours, they're actually 15 minutes because everything had been resolved. The other benefit was is that all the information in the discussion was backed up and it was also searchable. So if someone came into the conversation late, they could easily jump on board, read the discussion and get up to speed very quickly. So again, this is a great area to capture all that ad hoc information that may be a better location than having it in email. The other thing that we've got here also is you'll notice I've got a survey. So I can now run a survey, ask a number of questions and I can now get responses from people. So in this case, I've asked five questions and these are the responses. Once I've got the responses, people are, I'm able to go into my surveys and see what the results are. So this can be very handy for not only polling staff, but maybe for also polling customers. What you'll also find is that the tabs across the top can actually be used to create a whole new area. So in this case, this area called Social Club is a completely separate area from the top site. And if you choose, it can have completely different security. So you can have a, a tab that refers to the finance or the HR or whatever, and that can be sectioned off so that only certain staff members are able to access it. It has all the features, the functionality of the top level site, but again, it gives you that separation. It makes it a nice, easy way to create additional information areas. So finally, to finish off here, what I will show you is that the power is not only the information that you put in here, the power is being able to retrieve it. So if I go up here and I do a search for a term, it will now search my whole site for a hit on that. And again, if I click on my first reference, you'll see that it gives me what I'm looking for. So again, all the information that you put into SharePoint, all the information that you have in documents stored in document libraries. So all the documents we have in here, all the information inside of these documents can also be indexed. You can actually search for any terms that appear in these documents via this search box. The conclusions for today are SharePoint is more than just for documents. Okay, as we saw, you can use it for images, you can use it for contacts, you can use it for calendar. So again, just don't think of it as a document management system. 
And again, you get the most out of SharePoint when you combine it with other Microsoft Office products. It works best with the latest version of Office, and it works well with things like Outlook, Word, Excel, and especially a tool called OneNote. And again, don't forget that SharePoint is the perfect tool for storing and indexing and searching your business information. Not only the information that you may type in manually, but all your documents. At the moment, you use a tool like Google to find what you're after on the internet, but what tool do you use to find information inside your business, information about the documents in your business? How does someone find that one document with the reference to that one customer that's required? So again, putting it all in SharePoint allows that to be indexed without doing any additional work. So what will happen is that for everybody who attended today, I will send an email asking you to complete a survey. One of the questions on the survey is uh, for your email address. If you put your email address into the survey, I will send you a short resources guide on um, some of the topics that I've covered today, as well as some general SharePoint information. Don't forget that we basically run these webinars every second Thursday at 10 o'clock Sydney time. And again, the best place to find out information about the topics that will be conducted are on my blog. Finally, please be aware that I create and maintain a SharePoint operations guide. And again, this is a comprehensive information guide that teaches you all you need to know about installing migrating, managing, and using web SharePoint. You'll find more information at www.wssops.com. Finally, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for attending. Please feel free to send me an email with any questions you may have. Uh, my email address is director at ciaops.com. And you can keep up to date with what's happening and what, what I'm doing via my blog. So 